Over the past few years, the way in which that we installed titles, effects, transitions, and generators has changed quite a bit, as well as their locations. So I'll quickly go over the two primary ways as of DaVinci Resolve 18 to install these. And it really comes down to how you received these titles, transitions, effects, or generators. The first way, and probably the easiest way, is using the DaVinci Resolve template bundles. And like I said, it really comes down to how they were given to you. But as you can see, a part of the download that I provide uh, on my website, I right here just have a, a how-to and it's just going over the steps that I'm telling you now. But all you really need to do is just have DaVinci Resolve started up, double clicking on the actual bundle file, a little window will pop up and ask you if you want to install it. You hit install, it's as easy as that, it's now installing in the background. Once it's done installing, we can come up here to effects and then go into titles and we can see right there the draw titles are automatically there. So we can just easily pull them right onto our timeline and start working away as you can see, as easy as that. The other way we will actually need to go into a particular folder or directory, depending on if you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux, obviously the location's going to be different. Here are the ones that uh, as of currently, the locations that you're going to want to save those. Those will also be down in the description to make it a little easier to find the location. One thing to be mindful of is that if you're logged in as a user, as you can see here with the Windows one, you'll need to replace the uh, location with whatever the username is. So all that's going to look like is just a folder that looks like this. And then we just have to go into, okay, we're going to be adding in titles. We just go into the titles file and then drop our dot settings files in here. And those are just simple macro files that you get out of Fusion. And if they're properly created and placed in this folder, uh, they will then show up on the edit page so that you can use them as a title. And that's the same way for the transitions, generators, and effects as if we come back over into edit. So edit is going to be for the edit page and in the transitions they're there as well as well as in the effects we have those in there as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. If you're in the market to get more of these, I would say take a look at the website because I have a pretty compelling deal. Currently, I have right around 400 and that list is ever growing of these different effects, titles, transitions, generators, that such. But yeah, with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one. Peace.